Hello Champions, we're going to do a 5 star bronze preview of Junkyard Dog and the reason we're doing that is because he's part of the event this weekend where the last milestone is to get him at 4 star gold and uh, there's a token to make him 4 star bronze. And he also gets a new gear which makes his, let me show you here, makes his uh, all color gem do 300% more damage. So not only is yellow, but all color gem will do 300 more damage. For a showboat, that's pretty massive. So we're going to have a look at that. Should make it much easier for him to kick out of, uh, of uh, pins, for instance, and also do some actual damage. Because as is right now in the game, Junkyard Dog is pretty much the worst character in the game. This can definitely be a game changer for him. And at five star, he actually gets a pretty damn good move. So we're going to go see that. I haven't played a match with him on paper. It looks pretty good. We'll see if it actually salvaged the character or not. So the move set we're going to have a look at is the first yellow move, the dog food. 11 MP yellow move. Finisher deals 45.5k damage and destroys 7 random yellow gems and pin the opponent. The new move, the yellow tree move, is the Tump. 1 MP yellow move deals 6.7k damage and choose 4 gems to make into immobile gems. And the red 2, the shoulder breaker, 10 MP red move, deal 46.4k damage and make 8 immobile gem into yellow gem. Trainers we're going to use for that, Sting to start with, more red, and Paul Orndorff so that we create four more immobile, making that one MP move, a choose eight to make into immobile. We're going to try a second version of this, where instead we're going to be using, instead of uh, Orndorff, we're going to be using uh, Ziggler, but I think this is better because as you see here, we're using Booker T to create one more yellow and have yellow do 5% more. And we're using Ogun as well. So we're creating one more yellow, effectively making 14 immobile gem into yellow. If we were using Ziggler instead of Orndorff, we would be uh, making 18, but we would make only four every turn. So this way, you just wait two turns, you're gonna get your 14 because you're gonna have 16 on the board. So let's see how that goes. We're going to go versus X-Pac. Uh, again, unfortunately, there's no five-star opponent to chat to test on the road. So we're going, we're going versus X-Pac's. But X-Pac has an advantage over the, uh, over the uh, showboat. So that's why I'm going against him. He has a 25% boost versus me. Kind of evens out things a little. So that's why we're going with him instead of the usual set rolling. So... Let's do this. Forgot to show you the boost I have on it. With the gear, it's 19.1k for all the yellow gems. So, we're missing two reds. Unfortunately, I don't have any red on the board. So, let's put those here. I mean, just matching gems, I just did 240,000. I did nothing. Like, I just matched gem. 240,000. Okay. Well, let's try that again. All right, we're going to try this again because, I mean, I barely had time to see anything that happens here. Uh, two things I want to point out first. We forgot to check what perks I had on, so we'll do that right now. So 15% more health. Gem do 15% more damage. That's the feud bonus. The gear, all color gem do 300% more damage. 
and we got the take 10% less damage from all car move, 20% more health, and all color moves start with 3. Uh, that is uh, pretty nasty. Uh, what's that here? Matching all color gem, charge move of that color by 2 more MP. Uh, multiply gem strained by one that doesn't change anything color turn gem 25 percent. we don't have any of those hands gem we don't have any of those either so that's pretty much it now imagine if you actually put a strap on him and like double fury for another 40 percent. i mean that's a ton of damage right there on gem so let's uh I forgot also to uh show we said here that we're making 14 actually we're making 10 uh, that's a display bug because the actual move makes eight and the fact that we're using orndorf makes four extra immobile here but somehow it also shows for four extra here because we're going to be making eight booker gives me one extra ogan gives me one extra so that's 10 not 14. all right let's do uh, another match versus x pack Looking for a red match. We do have the red. We're putting that right there. Probably should have put one there that would have prevented him to get the red, but whatever. So we got one, two, three, four, five, we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not gonna put the other four, because if I put the other four, then I don't know which ten are gonna get selected, because I don't pick the ten. That ref well, that actually did 420,000 right there. <laughs> That's over. I was about to say it refilled my finisher, or it filled my finisher, but it finished in. That's pretty much it. I mean, the fact that you're doing 300, not only with the yellow, but with every gem is pretty massive. I mean, even if you don't get your color, you're going to do a lot of damage. If you happen to have a Cascade, you're going to do a ton of damage. Like you saw it on the first match, I, I completely destroyed him on the first turn just because I got a Cascade. So That's it for Junkyard Dog. Like I said, you're going to get him at 4-star gold from the last milestone on the, on the event this weekend. You get some tokens to maybe get him to 5-star bronze after that. The gear, I'm not too sure. I think the gear is in, is going to be in the loot, I think. It's not part of the event, but I don't have the details yet. Might be out by the time I release this. So have a look. So that's it for Junkyard Doug. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. See ya.